Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Now today I'm making some melting moments. Now I've made this recipe before, about two years ago, when I first started my channel. And I've gotten quite a few requests for melting moments. And I thought, instead of reposting the same video, I would just record it again. Please give this video a like, I would really appreciate it and you would be supporting my channel. Now to my bowl, I've got a cup of eisen sugar or powdered sugar if you are not from South Africa. And to that I'm going to add 250 grams of butter. Or you can add margarine. And to my butter, as in sugar, I'm also going to add half a cup of oil. Now, I also get questions on um, what size cup or they can just use any cup. Now, I find that if you do enjoy baking, that it's best to invest in these baking cups because you do get four cup, um, half a cup, three quarters of a cup. A quarter cup um, you get all those so it's much easier for measuring your ingredients now I'm just going to cream that together just until it's nice and smooth I'm just going to scrape the sides of my bowl Now I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. You can use vanilla essence or vanilla extract. So now I'm going to add my dry ingredients. Now to my bowl I've got three cups of sifted cake flour. Now you can do all-purpose flour as well. And to that I'm going to add 50 ml of corn flour also known as cornstarch or mazina and I'm also going to add 50 ml of custard powder And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients and I'm just going to form a soft dough. Now for that I'm just going to use a spatula. Now you might need um, a tablespoon or two more flour or you might need less um, and when I say less, um, less than three cups but I've always found that three cups is fine. I'd usually just add a tablespoon or two. Um, and if you do find that your dough is a bit too stiff and you've added your flour already, you can just add a bit of oil. But to prevent that from happening, I'd say start by using two and a half cups and just add as you go. Like I said, three cups is always worth for me. Now if you don't have these cake measuring cups um, and you do have a kitchen scale, one cup of cake flour should measure 
four y hundred and twenty five grams. Now, as you can see, my dough is nice and soft. I'm just gonna feel it. Now, as you can see, my it's nice and soft, but it's not sticking to my hands um, that much. So that's the consistency that you want. So I've used three cups of flour, but like I said. Um, if you do find that your dough is a bit too wet, then just add a tablespoon of flour at a time because you want a nice soft dough that doesn't stick to your fingers. Um, you don't want it to be too dry or stiff if you are going to use a piping bag like myself because you won't be able to press it through your nozzle. But if you are cutting it out, then um, it's fine to use a bit more flour and for your dough to be a bit more, more stiff. Okay guys, um, so I've just greased a cookie sheet. Now usually I would just use some Nancy cooking spray or some baking paper. But unfortunately I don't have any of those and I'm just going to use and do what I have. Like I always tell you guys. So I've just greased it with some... Butter. Now I've got two disposable piping bags and I've got two nozzles. I've got a large star nozzle um, and the number is 848 um, and this one is 826. So if you don't have any of these, um, use any large um, tip nozzle that you do have. If you want to um, use these ones and you don't have anyone to purchase them, you can find them at any baking shop. Now my oven is preheating at 200 degrees Celsius. I'm just going to cut the end of my bag. Also, like I said, you can just roll these out and just cut them in whatever shapes you want. Now I like using these disposable ones because you can just chuck it in the bin when you're done. Now I'm just going to add some of my paint. As you can see, it's nice and soft. Okay, guys, so I've just piped the fuel. And I'm going to show you just what I did. Um, now you can pipe yours in shape um, or patterns that you like. I'm just doing like a zigzag pattern. Um, now if you find that your dough is not coming out um, a bit easier, then just add a tablespoon or so of oil. Also don't add too much of the dough to your bag. So I'm only going to use this nozzle um, today. And like I said, do any shapes um, that you like. 
Um, you could do this nozzle, um, the 826 size, and you can make some fingers. You could even do fingers with the star tip that I'm using. So I'm just doing a, a ring. Now, as you can see with the exact same nozzle, I'm making different shapes. Now you can make your cookies a lot smaller than what I did um, or you can just double your ingredients um, if you want a larger batch. Now you can place some glazed cherries on top or some sprinkles, um, entirely up to you. But I'm going to place mine in the oven, 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. Keep an eye on them because they do brown quite quickly. Okay guys, so my cookies is out of the oven. It baked for about 12 minutes. Then I just let it cool down completely. I melted some milk chocolate just in the microwave. 30 seconds at a time until your bowl is nice and warm and then you just stir your chocolate until it's smooth. I also melted some milky bar caramel and also some plain milky bar and then of course uh, my kids like sprinkles so I just added some hundreds and thousands. Please give this video a like, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and if you haven't already the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and i'll see you in the next one bye guys